In this video, we'll be going over how to create this Earth orbit scene in the Earth-centered Earth body fix frame IAU Earth, which is useful for seeing in 3D what orbit ground tracks look like. For example, if you're flying a sun-synchronous spacecraft like the one in the purple, this demonstrates how you can get global coverage because of the high orbital inclination. And this also demonstrates the very special orbits geostationary, geosynchronous, and Molnia, which all have repeating ground tracks. As usual, we've posted all the scripts for the scene in the GitHub repository under scene CT006 IAU Earth, and this BSP kernel contains all four orbits trajectory data. Now we can take a quick look at that BSP kernel. So we can say brief CT006 orbits, where we see eight bodies here, which are the four orbits that are shown in the scene and also their ground tracks. So for example, negative 996 is the Molnia orbit and negative 9960 is its ground track where those ground tracks are all the same except for their position vector norms are all equal to 63, 78 kilometers or Earth's equatorial radius. So all the scripts are going to be pretty similar for this scene where the big differences are going to come from the spacecraft catalog and the Python scripts. So in the spacecraft catalog, we want to define that we are using an Earth body fix frame, which in this case is IAU Earth. And we want to do that by stating the trajectory frame of the body using SPICE and IAU Earth. And we also want to state in the trajectory that we want the frame to be IAU Earth. And everything else is the same in the spacecraft catalog where we have all the orbits and the ground tracks defined. So here we have Molnia ground track, SPICE ID negative 9960, and Molnia orbit, SPICE ID negative 996. This reference frame definition comes from the PCK00010.tpc spice kernel, which Cosmographia automatically loads in, so no need to worry about it. But this kernel provides data for the North Pole's right ascension and declination and the prime meridian orientation with respect to time, with respect to the EME2000 or J2000 inertial reference frame. And we'll leave a link in the description where you can find this kernel and a paper from the International Astronomical Union that goes deeper into details of these calculations. And in the Python script, like usual, we include the bodies that we want and also the ground tracks in this case. And here we only want to call show trajectory for the ground tracks, not show object because we don't want their labels displaying in the scene. And here, instead of setting the camera to the inertial frame, we set to body fix frame, which Cosmographia knows we're referring to Earth's body fix frame since it is set as a central object. One important thing to do when doing a body fix frame scene is to remove the stars from the background since in this frame the universe appears to be rotating around us and it's a really easy way to give yourself a headache watching it. So how we can do that is we go to settings and here write star brightness and we have to do this manually star brightness just turn it all the way down and then the next time that cosmographia pops up it'll remember these settings. Another method of creating a scene like this is to define the trajectories just the way we did with respect to the IAU Earth frame, but to set the camera and the Python script to the inertial frame instead of the body fix frame. So here's what the scene looks like with the stars in the background when the camera is in the body fix frame. So it looks like the universe is rotating around and the Earth is staying. St now to change the inertial frame, we can go to camera inertial frame and play. Where here the Earth spins, not the universe, but the trajectories are still defined with respect to the IAU Earth reference frame. But if you want to do this, you want to be careful when explaining the scene, since these trajectories are again defined in a non-inertial frame. Next up in the series will be how to create interplanetary trajectory scenes, like this one of the Voyager spacecraft performing all their gravity assists and their final inclination changes.